the first video and um, kind of our follow-up to the Parent Academy that we had a week ago, uh, where I'm going to show how to uh, restrict your ch restrict the students uh, on tech different devices and different softwares. Uh, so the first one I am doing is um, Mac OS, <clears throat> and actually really this is just Apple software in general. So uh, the way that the operating system works now is it's pretty uh, connected between iPhone, iPad, and MacBook. So it, it really looks the same on every device now. So if you go to the settings and you go to screen time, uh, this is the same as if you were to pull up the phone uh, or if you were to pull up uh, your child's uh, iPad. So we're just going to kind of go through this uh, here and the next episodes, I guess you could say, I will go through Microsoft. So I'll go through Windows devices. Uh, I will go through Android devices uh, and I will talk about how to limit uh, on gaming as well. So whether it be Xbox, Switch, or uh, PlayStation. But I think most people, uh, by show of hands at the, the meeting and just show of hands by the kids, uh, have Apple devices. So I figured we would kind of start here. Now, once you get to screen time, there's a bunch of different categories in terms of how to limit uh, your children. I'm just going to start uh, here with content and privacy. Uh, this is really where, where you, where you want to start as, start as well. So. You click here, and now there's going to be a screen time passcode. I have a screen time screen time passcode because I like to lim limit myself uh, on certain apps. Now, I do know the pass passcode, um, but as an adult, it's still kind of smart to have because it gives you an alert saying you have run out of time um, on whatever app it might be. Uh, enter passcode if you if you would like to continue. And now, again, if your child doesn't have the passcode, they then can't continue uh, on said app. Now. As I said in the, the meeting last week and showed you guys with uh, how quickly uh, inappropriate things can be kind of curated to your children's uh, apps, it's definitely, again, it's not about the time, it's about the how you, do, how you restrict it because these apps and these companies are still going to send them um, things that you, that they're not even searching for, but it might just, might just come to them. So right away, we'll just start with content restrictions. And I think if you look here on access to web content, you might immediately think, well, let me just limit adult websites. Now, yes, that's going to limit the majority of websites that you don't want your child on, uh, but it doesn't stop them from searching searching certain things or certain things just kind of coming up to them. So actually what I would suggest doing, and this is very restrictive, so you have to just have a conversation uh, with your family about this, um, is uh, allowed websites only. And then what you do is you actually make a list of websites that you want your child on. Now. This is just what uh, Apple automatically sets, right? So they want you to go to apple.com, of course. Um, and then they have just have a couple of the websites that they think that children should be on. Now, for you, you go down to this plus button and you say website name. So let's say, I, I already did ESPN.com. Um, so let's see, ESPN. Let's do ESPN again. So ESPN, so you do the, the name of the website and then the URL, so ESPN.com and done. Now, again, It's going to limit what they can search uh, in a pretty big way. Um, it's really up to you. Now, I think you, you'll have to have a conversation with your child. Uh, and they, they pretty much now, if they want to go on certain websites, they have to run it by you or they can't go on it. Again, it's very restrictive. You'll have to be very, you, you will have to be on top of it. Your child will probably ask you a lot um, in terms of allowing them on certain websites. But you then have control over exactly what they're searching. So. Again, if you notice here, Google.com is actually not listed, right? So there's no searching for them. So there's no search engine that they can go on. Um, again, that's where a lot of the problems come because a child may search one thing and the top result is not what they're actually actually looking for. So uh, that's one option. Again, you can just limit adult websites, which is also good, but it does not stop children from searching for things. It does not stop search engines and it allows them to go on to websites that, that Apple, right, might deem appropriate, but you might deem inappropriate. Um, so I'm just going to go back to unrestricted access here. Here you have Siri, Music and TV, Game Center, and multiplayer games. Uh, you can restrict however you want. Now, again, most kids don't game um, on their phone and iPad, uh, although it's become more and more popular. So you can now, I, again, the first thing I would check off is I would not allow private messaging in the Game Center. So the Game Center is kind of Apple's version of like Xbox in a way. So that's where you can download games and add friends uh, and whatnot. So I would just say disallow private messaging. 
Now, down here with multiplayer, if you don't want them playing with people all over the world where they can just start messaging with each other in the game, so forget about private messaging, there's just in-game messaging as well. Uh, you could just do friends only, and then you could be approving their friends list. So say you do allow adding friends, or uh, you can check that off, and then you can <laughs> control every person that they friend. Uh, or you could do no one, or alternatively, uh, you can just go to here and actually it will go to no one, but allow nearby multiplayer. So right now it's allowed, right? Now, say your child wants to play with their friends in a house, which again, they shouldn't, they should socialize more or go outside, but say they're sitting, it's a rainy day and they want to play some game together. You could do friends only uh, and allow nearby multiplayer, which means that they can play with each other um, just kind of in a Bluetooth way. Now you can click, click this off if you want, which will stop them from just randomly playing with people, say if you're out in public. Um, but again, look into that. Uh, it, I think more people, more students use the Nintendo Switch and uh, the Xbox and the PS4 than they do uh, gaming on their phones, but it's becoming more and more popular. So definitely kind of stay on top of that. Uh, the next is, sorry, did I do content restrictions? Yes, that's what I just did. So let me just go to store restrictions. If your child has your credit card on your their app store, you should just check all of this off and not allow them to really do anything and have you just control what's downloaded. Uh, app restrictions. Uh, this is specific to iOS, right? So if you look here, like I have Lightroom here in the bottom for editing photos. You don't see Lightroom over here. Uh, that is because these are iOS apps. So the first one, which you can kind of take a look at is Safari, right? Um, if you don't want them browsing the web on their computer and they're using it for whatever other reason, uh, you could just unclick this and that means they can't go on the internet. Now it's like you type in your passcode. Again, this passcode is different than the phone passcode and you wanna make sure that the child doesn't know this one, right? Uh, and you just click off all of this, okay? Now, a lot of this you probably are okay with them having uh, with the exception of maybe Safari if you don't want them surfing the, surfing the internet. Um, but it doesn't, here allow you to restrict like certain apps so that that's totally separate video where, where we have to talk about like discord and different social media apps um now on the, the the computer like this right they're not there's no snapchat app uh for this for this computer um you can go to snapchat.com and you can go to instagram.com so that's really where you have to decide do you want to disallow <clears throat> disallow every website and do allowed websites only and if you do that they can't just go to instagram.com unless you have it checked off so Again, app restrictions for this is just iOS. If I go to pref preference, uh, sorry, yeah, preference restrictions. Uh, this is really uh, the one here is allow account changes and allow passcode changes. You just check these off because you want them changing their passcode. Okay. Um, now, if I go back to screen time, that's really with the restrictions of uh, like web surfing and things like that. Downtime is when do you want them to not be on their phone? Okay. Um, so turn on the block, the device at downtime. So if I want, okay, if I had a kid and they go to bed at nine, really this should be put on at seven o'clock. Their phone, their phone is kind of locked. Uh, and you could set the days too. So it could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, it could be during the weekend as well. And you could change the time for that. But what's, what's really important is again, this is for adults and children. You shouldn't be looking at a screen two hours, uh, prior to fall asleep. I think we're all guilty of doing that, but it restricts the melatonin that's naturally produced in your brain. Uh, which leads to a worse sleep. So even as a parent, like I used to have this set up, but I actually just don't really use my phone when I'm going to bed anyway. I just read a book. So it's just placed on my um, side table uh, and I just put the sound on in case someone calls and needs me. Okay, now this is, this if you want to look, this is my MacBook, so it's not going to say pickups. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I've had three pickups today. Um, yesterday I had six. Okay, now obviously for a cell phone, it's going to be way more. Uh, than a computer, but you can see how often they're actually picking it up. Okay. Uh, app limits. This is where, say I check this off, I go here, it looks different on the computer. Um, but if I go to this, I can now say go to games. Um, and the only game I have on here is chess and I can limit how often they're on it. Now, when you're on your child's cell phone and they have their social media apps and they have their uh, gaming apps, this is where this is where you see it, right? This is this app limits section is where you see it. It's not going to be 
here because this is just iOS, it's going to be here. So this is uh, be beyond the restricting um, web surfing. This is probably the most important uh, piece of the screen time. So when when you're going through the phone, you see every app they have and how long you want them on it. This is like my daily average, right? So uh, all apps four hours, okay? Um, and you can block it at the end of the limit. And that means, so say you, you give them 30 minutes on a gaming app, right? Once that it gives them a 10 minute warning and once that 30 minutes up, that's it, they're done. The only way you can unblock it is with the screen time passcode. And if they don't have the screen time passcode, because that's your passcode for their phone, then that's it, they can't get, they can't get on the app. So that's definitely something to uh, look at. Um, and this is what I, I've actually done this where I, I, I restrict myself and I do have it on my phone where I restrict apps on my phone. I don't have it on my computer because I really just use my computer uh, for work and grad school work. Um, communication limits. This is now, uh, we, we, we talk about messaging random people. Right now it's, it's to everyone. So anyone can text me right now. Um, now we do this, which I won't do right now, um, but contacts and contacts only. So if we only save contacts and then you, you can actually then restrict if they can add contacts to their phone. Um, contacts and groups with at least one contact, okay? Um, and then during downtime, allow communication with uh, everyone or specific contacts. Contacts. So say downtime is now where we're, they're winding down for bed, right? Or it's the end of the day and you don't want them te texting their friends, okay? So they're allowed to text their friends during the day, fine. But once seven o'clock comes, no, you don't want them texting their friends anymore. This is where you go to specific contents and you would here, click on this plus button and you would add dad, mom, grandpa, grandma, brother, sister, right? Then, then you're only allowing them to contact the people, like people in the family, just in case you need to get them. And then what you could do is you can unclick this, which says allow contact editing, and you can just stop them from being able to edit this. So you can set exactly who they can talk to at what time, okay? It's actually very, again, you can make it as restricted as possible. If you want it, then they could only contact you, really. Um, you, can, you can set it that way, just you have to like tweak it a little, but you can make it where they can only text and call like, at the, the family. Um, again, up to you. Now, always allowed, uh, same deal. This just has to do with apps and, um, let's see. Now, oh, this is interesting, actually. I think it has my, some of my, let's see. No, it doesn't. I thought maybe it did because of this. I don't have Amazon here. No. Um, uh, this just is kind of... Again, you 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 should be monitoring what apps they have on the phone anyway. Uh, but if you want, if there's an app that you're fine with them always using, you can just check check it off. So like say like the calendar, they can always use or something like that. I don't have this um, set up in any way because I, I I don't need it on this this computer on the phone. Again, it looks it looks different. The interface looks the same, so you, this will all look the same. It will say always allowed, but the apps will look different. So you'll see your child your child's apps. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. And that's really, that's really it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else with iOS. Again, like specific apps, you can you can limit it here. Okay, so social media apps and whatnot. Um, but well, well, I'll have other videos on specific, like like Instagram, Facebook, Discord, things like that, where you can limit it even more uh, within the app. But I think as a parent, uh, here in the screen time, this is really where you guys want to spend your time, spend a decent amount of time uh, deciding what you want these settings to be. Um, I'm always available to kind of sit down and, and go through this too. So this is kind of just an informational video. Uh, but if you want to reach out to me, my email is tcapazzoli at oldschools.org. Um, my phone number is on the website. I'm extension 107 once you call the school. Uh, and I see most of you guys anyway, so just let me know and I can help anyone in any way. All right, see you guys later.